Hello and welcome to the tutorial on comparing numbers. And in this tutorial we're going to do numbers up to 1000. And we're not going to use any pictures or the number grid. So first things first, let's just remind ourselves of the three symbols that we use when comparing numbers. We have less than, equals, and greater than. So we've done that. Let's begin with our first example. Suppose you have these two numbers, 743 and 827. 743, 827. Which symbol are we going to place between these two numbers so that it makes sense? Well, let's begin by labeling each of the digits of both numbers. So we've got units, tens, and hundreds. And we've got units, tens, and hundreds. Now the first thing we do is we compare the digit on the left hand side to see whether they are different. If they are, we can answer this question straight away. So let's do that. The number on the left, we've got seven hundreds. The number on the right, we've got is eight hundreds. So we're comparing this one, this seven on the left, with eight on the right. Well, that's pretty simple. Seven is smaller than 8. 700 is smaller than 800. So therefore, the arrow has to point this way. Now notice, we didn't even look at the tens or the units because we didn't have to. As long as the hundreds are different, we can answer this question no matter what comes after with regard to the tens and the units. Always make sure that it points to the smaller number. So that was nice and easy. Now let's look at another example. Suppose now we have 651 and 637. 651 and 637. I'm not going to label the digits because you know what they are and you know how we are trying to explain this. So let's work through the way we always do. Start with a digit on the left hand side. So we've got 600 and 600. Now the 6 and the 6 are the same. If they are the same, we cannot answer this question straight away. We're going to have to move to the tens. So let's have a look at the tens. We've got 5 on the left, 50, and we've got 3 on the right, which is 30. So we're comparing the two. The numbers are different, so we should be able to answer this question now. 50 and 30. Effectively, it's 5 and 3. And if we're comparing 5 and 3, we know that 5 is greater than 3. 5 is greater than 3. Notice here, 5. That's what we're looking at. In fact, I'll even just draw it all the way through. 5 and 3. And that is our answer. 651 is greater than 637. And we didn't even look at the units because we didn't have to. We looked at the hundreds. They were the same. We discount that. We then move on to the tens. And the 5 is greater than 3. And we can answer the question. So that wasn't very difficult, was it? Right, now we're going to move on to our third example. Now suppose we've got the numbers 934 and 938. Now I'm sure you'll be able to answer this question very quickly and straight away. So have a guess now. Have you guessed? Okay, great. We're now going to work through it systematically. 
And let's work through this one very quickly, because you know the system we use. Right, first one, we start with the hundreds, we've got 9 and 9. They're both the same, so we can ignore the hundreds and we can move on to the tens. So let's do that quickly. We've got 30 here, and we've got 30 here. Three tens and three tens. Comparing the two, they are the same. So if they're the same, what do we do next? We move on to the units. And we've got four and eight. So we're now finally comparing the four and the eight. We're going to ignore the nines and the threes. We're only looking at the four and the eight. And we know from that that four is smaller than eight. Therefore, the arrow points this way. Four is smaller than eight. So now it reads, 934 is less than or smaller than 938. Always make sure that it points to the smaller number. And that is how we compare numbers up to 1000 simply by looking at the digits one by one. Remember, always start with a digit on the left-hand side first and gradually move inwards if required.